Hi, it's Brad here again. And today we're going to be using the in-camera intervalometer to do a multi-shot astrophotography image. Now, an intervalometer basically just tells the camera to take a certain number of shots for a certain length of time. What we can do is we can start using higher ISOs and get better star colors and a better foreground. So the first thing you do is you set the camera to manual mode or bulb mode if you're going to exceed 30 seconds. So we'll, we'll put it on bulb mode. You tell the camera the aperture that you'd like to use. You set the ISO and then we go into the drive mode, slide over to interval and then we'll hit the info button and that'll take us into the settings menu. So you can see there that I've set that for two minutes. So 12 frames. Now we're going to slide down, you'll notice here composite mode. Pentax have uh, very generously provided several different types of mode. You can see there it says average, additive and bright. Average takes your initial settings and stacks in-camera multiple images to match that result. Additive means that you can start with a darker image and the camera will add exposure with each successive frame. Bright creates a progressive image, replacing only the brightest parts in the image. This means it's ideal for in-camera stacking of star trails. Underneath is save process. Now this little box is easy enough to switch on and off. If you switch it off, it will give you one final image. If you switch it on, it'll save each individual image and give you the finished file as well. It's handy to be able to turn it off if you don't have a lot of room left on your memory card. If you want to do the processing yourself, you can. This just gives you the option, but it also means that at the end of the night, you can go home with the images already processed. The camera does all of the processing in camera, no other processing required. So having done all of that, we now make sure that the camera is on a sturdy tripod and we trigger the camera. It'll function automatically. It will carry off the instructions that you've put in. When it's finished, you come back and look at the final result. The same techniques will work right across all three cameras. Pentax have thoughtfully made sure that the menu structures are almost identical. You should be able to take any one of these three cameras and get professional results. 